new fallout from the national anthem protests in the NFL. Cleveland's police union and other first responders now saying they won't carry the flag to the field at the Browns opener since nearly a dozen players knelt during the national anthem. Joining us now, two of the men refusing to hold that flag, detective and president of the Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association, Steve Loomis, and president of Cleveland's EMS union, Dan Nemeth. Steve and Dan, thank you very much for joining us this morning. So, you know, a lot of us see this, these kneeling of protests and are, and are as frustrated as you are. You took it the next step and said, we're not going to take part of, of being on, the, on that field, holding that flag if they're not going to stand. Steve, why take that step? Well, because it's something we believe strongly in. Um, these players, it's not the players, it's not the freedom of speech, it's not the First Amendment that we're protesting. It's certainly not the flag that we're, um, we're not going to participate in something with the Cleveland Browns um, when the management and the NFL condone this kind of behavior. We're just simply choosing not to participate in this singular ceremony. Dan, as the president of the EMS union, where do you come down on this? I stand with Steve as well. Um, I was actually at that game when these Browns players took a knee. I'm a veteran as well of eight years with the United States Marine Corps. So when I saw that, I was deeply disturbed. And to have an organization that allows their members uh, on a level that these professional athletes are, that are looked up to as, uh, I wouldn't say heroes, but they are looked upon as role models, mm -hmm. to set that example for our young and our youth. Um, we stand for the national anthem. We uh, put our hands over our hearts, and we respect this great nation of ours. Amen. Uh, well, the, the, the police chief of Cleveland, Calvin D. Williams, has a bit of a different take on all of this. This is what he had to say. He put out a statement saying, recent statements made by the president of the police uh, Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association, that would be you, Steve, uh, would lead one to believe that members of the Cleveland Division of Police are against participating in events with our Cleveland Brown athletes. This is simply not the viewpoint of all of our officers. So, Steve, do you believe the majority of the officers are with you uh, or with the police chief on this? Well, uh, you know, it just shows that the, the chief and uh, Calvin Williams is out of touch with reality of what we have going on here in Cleveland, and he's out of touch with the reality of his officers and how they how they feel about it. Um, they're absolutely with us. Uh, there, there may be one or two out there that have an opposing opinion, and that's great. This is a great nation, and they can have that. But the vast majority of our members are absolutely standing with us, and the law-abiding citizens here in Cleveland as well. And, and across the country, we're finding out, you know, things are going on that are terrible in Houston right now. That I, I find it odd that this is such a big story. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why, and our hearts go out to those folks down there. And there's a lot of police officers, Cleveland, EMS, and fire guys that are down there yeah. Yeah. Um, helping with that. So, Dan, I want to get your take on what the Browns had to say about this. They said, as an organization, we have a pr profound respect for our country's national anthem, flag, and the servicemen and servicewomen of the United States and abroad. We feel it's important for our team to join in this great tradition, special moment of recognition. At the same time, we also respect the great liberties afforded by our country, including the freedom of personal expression. Where do you come down on their statement? Well, I agree in a sense, but also when you look at all the other regulations and stipulations that they place on their players yes. when they find them for doing things wrong on the field and off the field. So well, where is your stance going to be? Um, it is the stance that we've learned at a very young age when the national anthem is played that we stand and we honor our great nation. Dan, that's a great point. I mean, the NFL and the Cleveland Browns can tell their players how to wear their socks, yet they won't tell Absolutely. them to stand yes. for our nation's anthem. Uh, point well taken. Steve Loomis. Well, they, 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 find them, they find them for uh, dancing celebrating in the end zone. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. right. But not so for they celebrating can, our country. Yes. Yeah, when they're on the, con when, when they're on the clock, um, yeah. the management the NFL control what they do and how they do it and that's simple yeah just like the military. we don't have this yeah. problem Thanks, at, uh, major league baseball thank you guys very much and for your stance we Thanks, appreciate your time